last part right Alright guys, I'm out here with Wicked and we're just here to get his story. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Have you heard of ICP? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I got, I got a on my neck there. The joke, yeah, the hatchet man. Hatchet man. Hatchet man, hell yeah, bro. So wh where are you from, Doc? I'm from wherever the wind takes me. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm from I'm from um well I'm from um South Arizona. Oh, South, yeah. From South Arizona. I know it's really good for a last life. Maybe it could be an interview for a last statement of my own freedom. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I feel you. Know. How long, um, how old are you, bro? I'm like 32. 32? How long you been out here? I've been out here most of my life, dog. You know what I mean? I like being like just being alone and stuff. I like being in my space, in my own space. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, don't mean in all that situation. I don't know why people coming up and trying to like, hey, listen and shit. We yeah. Went way. I mean. Yeah, I'll just smoke with you, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I pulled up. There looks like they're giving out some uh, some free food, man. So, yeah, bro. definitely get you it's some. It's not lit. Oh, it's not? There you go. Getting the bill for getting the bill. Well, that's one of me. Oh, yeah. Like me, I know it's left alone, you know, situations, the whole situations. They just gonna be unbothered and be situations. You come up and say stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. Right, man. And um, and then I mean, it's like, I just, just want to do me. It's like, don't want to worry about anybody's bullshit. Don't want to, don't want to do shit anymore. I just yeah, want to um, be in a place where I can actually say, hey man, we're doing something. What do you guys want? We're doing something. Yeah. We're doing something. Go on. You fuck you always gotta bother me. Go bother somebody else. Every time I know something, you always gotta fuck with me, no? I look at your shit, no. That's how you say your shit, no. I'm trying to do something, bro. I know I got you. What are we? I'm trying to do something right now. I'm trying to help. It's my last interview, man. You know that dude? Yeah, he's a bro. Yeah. It's like, it's... So what's life like out yeah, here for you, bro? It's gonna make me feel sorry for the life. It's all they ever do. It comes down to whatever, man. Yeah. It's like, you know, showing up with your mouth in the mouth, you know, put your ears in the ears, man, your eyes in the eyes, if you weren't that real person. I'm yeah. saying, if you with it, then look up and I got you. I basically want, it's like, I just want to say the point is like, uh, I like, sorry to everybody, you know, like, I mean, I did my own do's and don'ts, you know, plays in here and there, you know, I ain't had my ups and yeah. downs, like a roller coaster, how it goes down. I'm not having a good time right now because I'm just being in my own jelly world, running around, running from detectives and marshals. And right now I'm running from, uh, I think, uh, the to a couple of detectives and marshals right now. They're chasing me as everybody home down the ways and uh, cops, the undercovers. The, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Because I had a ski mask on and a fucking uh, poncho and I, was, I, I, I killed some people last night. Nah, nah, I swear to <laughs> Yeah, don't say all that. No, I was just joking. Don't I was just joking. All that. I just jokes. Yeah. Anyways, I was like, I hey, know, but yeah, there was some, it was a cops, but there were some white dudes chasing me with glass and shades, but they couldn't catch me. Ran like Daddy Forrest Took Gump off, did. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. My feet hurt it. And I still yeah. hurt But it's crazy, no, no, it's like, forget all that, you know? See, like that situation, it's a jump situation, you know? Yeah. So are you, are you comfortable out here? Like, are you all right? Yeah, I get comfortable every now and then. I'm so used to things being violent. Yeah, I got I'm you. So violent, used to violent things and violent things. That's why I like the prison. When I went to prison, I loved it there. I was so happy to put it's it so in It's so easy prison. living in there. I only did 12 months, but yeah, I feel you, bro. Shit, when I came back over here, I got out, and then people, right now, people are, there's a few people trying to say that I'm a foul person in this motherfucking park. And it's like, mm -hmm. other people, the other people that know me, like the others and other people, they're like, nah. And then I wanted to talk to some of my heads up there, and no one said that. And my, my friends that I was in prison was saying that the thing is that they never heard no dirty, no dirt on my name, and they had no paperwork, and all like that. So, yeah. and they said that I was clean. And they said that people that I named, they were actually saying that. They said some of their names are wrong. They are looking for some of those people. Uh -huh. And then me, I have no fucking, I have a clean slate. And I'm, I'm perfect who I am. And that yeah. I'm not, I don't want dirty people. I never went to, I never went to prison for any child molestation. I went to prison for any rape or snitching. Yeah, nothing like that. I was, crazy like that. I, nothing like in those three categories. And I just kept to myself, minding my own business, kept my head up and held my chest up, you know. Yeah. I was so happy when we went to prison when I first went to when I went to Hambra. 
Angry, yeah, Phoenix. Yeah. yeah, and then they told me, and I was, we heard the song where they were singing with these guys, the Spices and the Wanchi. Mm -hmm. We were singing On the Road Again. <laughs> I can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah. Because we were like, we like traveling, you know, like when we go to prison, it's like that. But I haven't been with the right because it's moving back and forth. But then when I went, right, to, I was, yeah. I was so excited. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to prison. I'm first time going to prison. <laughs> It's for two armed robberies. My okay. first charge was two armed robberies for, the, and, but they charged me with one. They were top, there was two armed robberies. They were to uh, assault with a deadly weapon and an armed ro uh, armed robbery. Damn, bro. And then it was supposed to be two armed robberies. It was supposed to give me nine years in state, nine years in prison, or more, I think eleven years in prison. But I guess I knew somebody that in the system. Mm -hmm. I knew it was. They cut me. That's crazy. No more of this. Cause I went out there. I got. I, I was still nine years state probation, right? Mm -hmm. And I hope. I guess I'm somebody. I guess that people say I'm not somebody, and they say I'm foul, and they say that I'm. No, I'm dirty in this park. But look at me. I got more motherfucking things than it is because motherfuckers. My people that I know, I run. With, they clear my motherfucking name, and they kill. And they fucking. You know what I mean? They made that. They made the uh, probation drop down to nine, 96 months to three months in prison. Oh, for three years on nine, nine, three years, uh, nine years on state probation. Yeah, my yeah. people hooked it up and saying, "Baby, you a grown ass man that knowing that you loyal as fuck, we're gonna help you on this one point." Knowing they gave me only six months on parole, and three, three months on state, state three months in um, prison, and yeah. it was so good like that. I thought I was gonna do more like eight years, nine years. Man, you don't even know. Damn, uh, did you hit a three respect. or four yard? I had a two yard. But oh, also, two yard. But I got in a fight with another race, so it made me jump. They said they were going to send me to another yard or three yard because my my points. And it's funny that they are scared. It's really happen. I said, I didn't want to leave the yard because I was cool with everybody in the yard. Everybody was cool with me, and I was cool with everybody. Red, whites, blacks, natives, Mexicans. Yeah, all that. They were all cool with me. They always hooked me up with grub, fed me, always looked after me when I was asleep. They always woke me up for like for breakfast. They woke Five me up. For, yep. They woke me up for my job. They always woke me up like like 3 30. Like I used to at 3 30. At three o'clock, they all in the ocean to wake me up every early point of the night. They say, you say, you say, you say, they say, hefe. they call me Hefe, or call me boss. You can eat. They always say, or not. When the bices are dead, the, the one they're dead, they'll, they'll bring me a tray. They'll have a tray ready there for breakfast. Or I eat, and they'll give it to me. And I'm not for lunch time. They have a sack lunch for me ready for me. Or yeah. not, they have a they have a dinner tray waiting for me when I get hungry again. They took care of me. I was like I was their little brother to all of them. Yeah. And I was like that's what I'm saying. They were all here and they heard all those things that people say about me. And the motherfuckers will get slipped from ear to ear because of how much respect I got, and how much loyalty, and how much trust I got from them, and how much respect I got from them. Mother, I didn't have to, when I did so much, knowing that I made my way in and out of way situations I am that. I paid up with this, so, and I didn't think I was gonna have to pay up with this when I got. I thought I was just gonna be, a, I thought I was gonna be a drink or two, knowing that everybody that I came out with the fucking loyal respect from from people that I know. Yeah. And uh, it's like I, I just want to be like that, you know. I wanted to be like that, but yeah. people now they're saying that I didn't do this, and I want to kill you. Now I want to do this, and I roll with this. How can I not roll with these people? I do this, and huh? it's stupid. Why this ain't fucking prison, man? And some of the people that are trying to get bitching and bitching about me doing this that, they ain't even been in fucking P GP. They've been in PC. PC. I know about it. Because they told me when I went to talk to people that I heard their heads that I wasn't wrong with, they said they're looking for them because they want to, because their situation of them telling me that this is them. They have no right because they have no stripes and they have no words of saying who they is. Yeah. And it's like, that's why I walk every day with my head high and I thank God for that because basically, to be a loyal 100%. Yeah. That's all you I, can do. If I get shot, if I get murdered today from these cops chasing on whoever's chasing whoever it is, and they were cool with me, but yeah. <laughs> maybe they get me, maybe they, maybe they want me to run a little further. Because <laughs> they want to cop me because I was burnt. But um, but anyways, <laughs> I ain't tripping though. I mean, yeah. I just want to be, you know what I mean? Sometimes I just want to go and just be left alone, you know? And here I'm getting bitched at, talk shit to, and pit down, pushed yeah. around, lied to. Jacked my cheating, cheating on just my stuff. Jacked, and I don't, yeah. I don't go steal people's stuff. I don't go jack people's stuff. My homie, my hygiene, my backpacks got chicken. My hygiene, my backpacks, my clothes. And yeah, I wear, I gotta wear the same clothes like for a week or maybe like three days or yeah. that because I don't have no clothes. And then when I try to get some clothes, the clothes are too small, too, too big, and I have no shoes. Now my shoes are real thin. The water just goes through at the bottom because it's yeah. scraping too much. This weather's crazy. Ah, that's my shoes, man. And now they're all wet, but I put some new socks on. They're feeling dry. Yeah. But it feels, it average now, the shoes are starting to smell. So what's your opinion on life with you? Yeah, man, life, man. I, I was addicted to opiates for 13 years, bro. Partying before right, that, right. like weed when I was 18, and just, just 
a wreck, dude. Not doing the right things, you know. Huh? But finally got through it, man. After after rehab. Yeah. Do you have any like addiction or alcohol problems? Anything like that? What? No, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I don't really have. I don't have no <laughs> alcohol problems. I used to have. God, fuck that this shit. Hell no. Um, alcohol. I used to have a mad alcohol problem. I used to have a bad alcohol problem, but I slowed down on that. And just stick to drugs, and I don't really yeah. get as much done. I couldn't really because I used to love drinking. That's all I wanted. Yeah. Now with marijuana, I slowed down on that. I was like, if I didn't have marijuana and I couldn't have smoke it, I'll get so angry and I try to hurt somebody. Yeah, yeah. I have a sure. violent temper. Sure. And then with the G, that's like whatever. And then um, blues is like, yeah, I do it. But now that I'm, I, think, I think I'm slowing down there because I'm not doing it as much. I'm just like yeah, I got every now it's and good. then. Uh, you could control it. I'm starting to. Yeah, I'm starting to get to the point that I can't do that because basically it's a point where I can just tell myself that I'm gonna be alright. Yeah, that's good, bro. That's good, man. You're a lot. It sounds like you're a lot stronger than a lot of people because these blues have a lot of people hooked, dog. Like a lot of people I talk to. You know, so that's yeah. good. You can control it, bro. Yeah. Like you see crazy stuff out here? What's that? Crazy stuff? No, I don't see nothing. No, that's good. One thing I see is people being high and drunk. Yeah. And it's, it's, good, it's good, you know what I mean? I mean, because yeah. it's like, I see another way of saying that people open up their feelings in a different way because they want to be high and drunk because they do it in a good way. Yeah. And I think that when they're high and drunk, they express stuff because they, they're they happy where they're at because like, they're bringing themselves to a part. People, some people live here because they, they like it here and then yeah. they're so happy because they, I see their happiness because you know, it's good. That's what it's about. It's being happy, like, man. How would I put it? How would I put it? Like, I would say it like this. Let me see. That they're so happy here because nobody tells them, to, nobody judges them, nobody pushes them, no picks on them. Oh, they got probably picked up. I'm not sure. Yeah. But like, when we get told, oh, yeah, I might can't say that. And, like, nobody, no, nah, no, nah, like, certain things they can mostly do. One guy I talked to, you said he prefers, he wants to live out here because. He said he's been in prison for so long. He doesn't have to follow any rules, and he no bills. He just easy living. Yeah. Easy living, you know. As long yeah. as you're happy, though, bro. That's the source of that. I think that it's a good thing being happy when you're. I mean, because sometimes in prison is the best thing because, like, you living that life of a prison life. Yeah. I didn't. So when I was there, I didn't want to leave because I started liking it. I saw him. I went to the AA meeting. I said, oh, I just yeah. want to say that I'm liking prison, and then I don't. I don't want to leave and I want to stay here. Yeah. Yeah, prison saved me from myself. And it was so, yeah, it did too. Yeah. It did. You know what? Because like that too, I was doing psychology. And that's what I'm saying, psychology, because I, be, I wanted to become a teacher for my, my children and my grandchildren. I want to become a teacher and I want to learn. When, yeah. I, want to, when I want to teach is psychology, but I want to learn psychology. I want to get my master's in psychology. I want to be like, get my mind straight and <clears> more better in a point that where I can actually say that I'm actually doing it straight because. You could do it. I man. want my kids to see me in a good role model way of knowing that my life was kind of unmanageable and knowing that yeah. I couldn't control it because of the drugs and alcohol. Yeah, absolutely, bro. And it just made my, it made my life better because when I was out there in treatment, I first when I first started looking at psychology, the first person I ever heard of psychology was from Kevin Gates. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kevin yeah. Kevin Gates, the speaker. That's a rich dude. Yeah, he's, he's um, he, that dude is my role model. He's like a role model to me. It's like how you piss yourself up and how I'm hiding. He, yep. he how he sees, like, makes, uh, presents himself. Presents himself in a hard, yeah. like, in a hard place, but like you know, a person that's been in a struggle in a hard times and hard places, you know, and, they, and they're like, cause it's like, because like, you know, Kevin Gates like that. He's the one that actually, actually opened my eyes to certain things and knowing that it, what I wanted to be and growing up, is way growing up since I was a baby, you know what I'm saying? Everything being around mm -hmm. it. It's like, you know, he changed his whole life around. Yeah, he did. Like he's man. very spiritual now. Yeah. And uh, With, um, he's got a good message, Kevin Gates. Uh, Kevin Gates is like, he's got that one. It says, they said, they said the, sometimes, the, sometimes the real don't get, the, sometimes the real don't get respect that they want. Sometimes the real don't get the respect they want. So that's our respect. That's why we're these feathers. You know, yeah. Yeah, we're yeah it's almost warriors. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a solid message, man. He, he's been through it too prison and all that. Where's he from again? Like the south? Somewhere around there? Ar I forgot where he's from. 
Atlanta, maybe? Some one of them. I can't remember my Something ass. Something like that. Yeah. But yeah, that guy's a big guy. He's so, Puerto Rico. I know what's been in Puerto Rico, too. Oh, okay. He's Puerto Rican. Yeah. Have you ever been to uh, rehab? Anything like that? Yeah. Yeah. How was that? I was supposed to go back to the gym, but I don't know the number to use this phone tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what it gives me. That's what I want. That's what I want to call it and try to do that, but I don't know her number. There's a, a place called CBI. Have you heard of that? Downtown? Yeah. yeah. That's where I went, and then they got me to a rehab. Isn't that, isn't that place right It's downtown. That place right there where it shows where, um, right there by the, right there by, it's like, it's a place like this. You walk in and out if you want. Mm -hmm. And yeah. take your way in the back and they have those couches. The there, recliners, yeah. Boy chairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been there and stuff like that. Yeah, I've been there so many times. That's I think I that I want to, I mean, I want to change my life tonight. And I have, don't, and I we have to. Because I enjoy my life, but I want to better it in a yeah. way that I can better myself because I can teach my, I can, the better ways I can show myself how to love myself, to, to love my children, yeah. to take care of myself, to take care of my children, to respect myself, to respect my children. It's good, man. To never leave myself in the dirt again. And to always be an honest person, to always be straight. Yeah. And it feels so good, man. It's like, you know? Yeah. It's uh, good, man. It's good. like that, though. But yeah, if you ever go back, just tell them that you want to uh, get into a rehab or whatever your plan is, you know what I mean? Like, whenever you're ready. That was the only way I got off. No, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back. I'm just right now, I'm just settling in. Yeah. Making my own Takes business. Time. Passing through, minding my own business. Yep. It's just a place that I'm, I, you know, I stay wake up every morning. Sometimes I don't get to sleep that much, but it's hard to sleep. I mean, it's yeah. hard to sleep because I can't sleep good because I have these nightmares. Yeah. Too much spaces in my head. Seeing too much blood and things. Yeah. And like just a while back, I was in my room, right? I was like in there, and I was coming down. I wasn't coming. I don't know what was coming down or not, but I was off drugs and shit. I was like sober and shit. Mm -hmm. And then you know, I was like fucking my body. Something kept telling me, I said, I was like, just do it, do it, kill, kill, kill. Yeah. Okay, in my ear and heard these little people, these fucking these men screaming and shit. I have children, stop. And then you know, and then you know, I hear this in my head, and I started like that. I heard the little, little things in my head, like yeah. Are they kids. like voices? Yeah, like okay. and these little kids screaming for their daddy and so like that. You know, yeah. they're telling them to stop, stop. Or it's my daddy and so like that. But then I hear this one thing, and then they say, you know, I'm laying in my room, I had the lights off, and then and I'm sitting there rocking back and forth, and I see this body, this person coming out from under my bed, and I don't want to under my bed again. Oh man! They're looking at me, all oh, they're saying stuff to me. I just turn it real fast, and it's like turning my ears, my head's pounding off, my heart's spinning fast, my head's spinning. My eyes are like, my eyes like, everything was looking around and my ears was going to ring, ring, ring. Yeah. And then I seen somebody standing around me and so much people standing around me, sitting by me. And mm -hmm. somewhere there and I seen this one big creature there. And it's, it's Satan, he says, my name is Lucifer. I don't know what it's not, name is Lucifer, but yeah. it's like, you know, it was Satan, <clears throat> they're standing there. It's just horns and shit. But they say the horns, but it wasn't really like that. No. It was just some kind of black figure. It's a spirit or looking something. At, looking at me and telling me that. Wow. I can't wait to see something about you know, something about I don't fucking yeah. remember but then Are I was talking about before I told him that I was this person and yeah. I said alright I'll kill for you just stop just stop leave my family alone leave my family alone and I said yeah. stop and I'll do kill for you and it was like seems I'm just like a puppy and it's like stuff because yeah are they know. actual voices or thoughts they were no they were just they were, at the time it was actually voices actual I was voices actually, yeah. and I was actually seeing those people like how clear as day is like see you Wow, yeah, was so, so thing. But I, I, like, I, mean, I never did anything like that. Yeah. You know, it's just my drugs coming down, and because the yeah. drugs were just taking over me, and it's like, and they made the things like that, and I was like, okay. yeah. And I got down and started like, just kind of like mess my head up. This one other, other dude told me he he sees stuff like that too, mm -hmm. like spirits and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you want a beanie? Yeah. One of my subscribers made these, like different colors and stuff. Excuse. What's up, doc? What's up, man? Oh, here we go. Good job. My last time, man. You want a beanie? Yeah. What color do you like? Just gray, blue, green. I like green one. Yeah. <coughs> you want a beanie? Yeah, I think. Can we pause it? Any color? Green one. Gray? Yeah. Oh, we're going to finish it quick. Yeah, I don't know. Right on, man. Well, good. Yeah, they were passing out food over there. They might have some clothes too, bro. So, you want another cig? Later? Yeah, I'll take one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's like that too. I'm enjoying life though. 
through my issues and everything. Yeah. I like being here to get through my problems and all that. I like yeah. seeing everybody here because everybody's smiling and cracking up. There's yeah. always some food to eat. Yeah. There's always some food to eat. Shit, that's me happy. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, man. And that's my uncle right there. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he's pretty cool. All right, brother. Well, he does, him, he does this all situation. What do you do in the rest of the day? Mm, I don't know. Do what I always do. Careful, that table might be wet. Oh, yeah, my wet. Just be careful. Do what I always do, you know? Yeah. I want to, man, I just want to make something of myself. That's what I want to do. I'm you can do it, bro. I want to make something myself and be a, that person. I want a job where I can become. I always thought about becoming a lawyer because in case my friends and my uncle have me in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you know what, to do. To, know what to do. That's a damn good idea. idea. That's what I want to do. Lawyer or not a teacher. Yeah. And something like that. To make me, maybe something like that. That'd be dope if every family had a, a lawyer and a doctor. Yeah. That'd be solid, dog. You could do that, man. Yeah. But yeah, definitely look into that psychology. I've been Sounds like it's a passion of yours. It's hard to have a phone though because I keep losing it or someone takes my bag or something like that because they don't. Yeah. Know, I don't get why they want my bag. It's like basically coming with crazy shit because like, I have my bag. It has the same shit as having your bag. Yeah. It's like what? Having having my shit makes it more stronger, makes it more, more identical. Yeah. I really don't know. It's just confusing. Like, why do you always gotta take my shit? And I go and then people act like little kids and say, oh, I haven't seen it. It's not snitching. It's helping me out. It's not, it's not snitching. You're not fucking going snitching on a murder. You're not snitching yeah. on something like on anybody in the crime. It's just, I need my damn bag. Yeah. I need my clothes. I need my hygiene. I need my bandages for my fingers. I need something. I need this and that. It's hard. You know, it's hard to live with that because you, you can trust somebody. You say that your family and say they got your back. Yeah. Man, no. Look where you're at. Yeah, it's a lot of people. I had to run from this morning. I could have had someone. I could have had a number. I could have had someone call and pick me up. Yeah. I got this and that. I could have had someone just do this for me. And I'm getting, I'm getting, and I got jumped. Yeah. I got jumped the other day. Yeah, it's all. Jumped. Like, no, it's like when I'm getting jumped, and the short is, no, ain't nobody coming for me. Yeah. That's why I don't tell people shit no more. It's like, no, I'm doing shit myself. That's good, man. I'm doing Stand anything, that that, anything that's like, you no know, one's just like, I'm doing it no more. And about the end, like, I mean, at the end, I do got this, my uncle and some of my brothers, they'll be there for me. Like that. I want someone fucks with me, like that. And then, that, they'll get mad about it. And yeah. but, like, cause you're looking at me, and now you're talking about them, I get mad about it too. It sounds like he has your back too, so that's good. Yeah, well, it's the one that's not in it. Yeah. His name, Amal. He's a pretty cool person. He's a good person. He's, he took me stuck by me from day in, day out. Yeah. He always helped me out. And like when I need help and stuff, sometimes I don't have anything. So. And I'm always there for it now that I'm like, you know, I get money here and there for panhandling and stuff like that. Yeah. And I help him out there and then, help him out on this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not rich and I don't have that much, but. Yeah. I wish a lot, I give a lot of money away and listen, man, I never have nothing for myself. And then I give everything away, like I have clothes and stuff like that. Cause I always want, I'm a person that likes to give. And I like to give a kind heart, be the kind heart to give away, be with things. It's good though. People don't see that shit. And then sometimes I don't want to get in bed off of all of some, of some, some situation because it's not my situation. It's a dumb situation. Yeah. Some situation because some dumb situation don't need to be done with. And that's like, if I don't involve it, it ain't prison, playboy. And sometimes you never been on a GP and GP, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Stop telling me how I should do this. And if I didn't do it, and if I'm not hanging on, why are you talking to me this way when I am am solid in prison? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I got my, I got my reputation in prison. Yeah. They were calling me the muscle to the people that I wrote. I said, here's the muscle. muscle. I was like, I don't know what that meant. But it's just, it's <laughs> Said, then means you're a badass. All right, cool. It means you can handle business. Yeah, like a I, torpedo. I really don't know, dude. I just know that I just heard these white people and these Mexican people. They were talking because they were about to fight with them. These the uh, chiefs and they said, you know, they just came <laughs> like this. There comes the muscle. Yeah. The muscle. I cracked up. I said, no, that's the muscle. Yeah. yeah. Did just, you work out in there? I worked up all Hit them day. Every day. Yeah. And the only thing that's don't work out on Sundays. We never worked out on Sundays. Yeah. I think it's a special day, yeah. You know, a special day. A special day of day. rest. I always loved working out, dude. Me too, bro. I was real, real skinny. When you went to prison, you were working out? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Every morning, I woke up. The yard yard opened at 5. So, I woke up, like, at 
and then my uh, my pre workout was the coffee. Yeah. You know, the uh, Nestle Classico. I think it was pouches or something, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dog. But all right, man. Well, I appreciate you talking with me, dog. Just, uh, stay safe. Stay solid in or out of prison. You know, yeah. that's all we could do.